हेलो इस वीडियो में मैं डिस्कस करूंगा कि किस तरीके से कुछ ऐसी यूनिक चीज़ों को सॉल्व किया जा सकता है ओनली ऑन बेस्ड ऑन द मैथमेटिक्स सो एवरीबडी इज़ वेरी क्यूरियस टू फाइंड द टॉप्स एंड बॉटम ऑफ ऑन द चार्ट कोई भी चार्ट हो चाहे बिटकॉइन का हो चाहे निफ्टी का हो एवरीबडी इज़ इंटरेस्टेड टू फाइंड विच इज़ द बॉटम एंड विच इज़ द टॉप ओके सो टू फाइंड द टॉप एंड बॉटम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू एनालाइज द लास्ट टॉप और लास्ट बॉटम सो इन दिस कंडीशन एज यू कैन सी द लास्ट बॉटम हेयर इन दिस चार्ट विच आई कैन सी इज नॉट दिस वन इज नॉट दिस वन इज नॉट दिस वन इज नॉट दिस वन नॉट दिस वन इट द लास्ट बॉटम इज दिस वन बिकॉज इट्स लो लो कुड नॉट ब्रीच्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द टॉप like here so just uh, uh, just suppose that we don't have anything and no clue no strategy if i want to how how can i find this top so this kind of uh, uh, i have actually solved a puzzle so uh, that's why i'm sharing this video that first of all uh, you may know that you can apply the fibonacci like uh, fibonacci extension like this to find out what's happening at this level actually and high to low and you can see this is 1.382 but i don't know if if it's going to be rejected from 1.382 it may also go to the 1.618 okay so why it actually rejected from here so to find it there are few properties which have to use uh, com in combination with the fibonacci like i am going to explain uh not not the complete method because too much complex and i have uh, coded and i'll go for that but uh <clears throat> to find any top first of all first property is you have to detect what was the last last bottom once you detect this that this was the last bottom then you have to cal uh, use calculus for that and what is the calculus i am going to brief it you may have studied in your 10th standard maybe uh, dy upon dx like that but the uh, what is the use of this calculus is to uh, simply uh, find out the two properties like the angle or the distance like if you throw a stone from here okay then at what angle it was thrown first property then uh, and where it will actually fall on the ground okay For more details, you can go to the YouTube and search about what what is calculus. And uh, so, in this case, every move will have every reversal at from the bottom will have a different uh, projectile uh, angle and different type of things. Like in this, uh, if you see if this is a top, then you see how how actually price falling with what angle. Okay, it totally matters. here yeah. and this angle whatever is falling is and this angle is not equal okay so in in this case both will have a different type of uh, impact on that and uh, thus uh, the support and resistance will be completely different because your fibonacci doesn't matter as a higher probable setup it works but uh, it's not highly probable that you can just uh, predict that this is going to be top no you can't predict that way you have to actually find the projectile angle from which it was thrown that will justify if the angle was like how much speed uh, is vol volatility is matter so that way it can actually predict the top based on the movement which is uh, almost impossible to calculate manually and you have to find you have to first scale the chart and then you have to apply the angles on it and lot of lots of factors actually that is uh, responsible for uh, doing all of these things okay and uh, this is the main thing actually it actually decides uh, where could be the price moving in a way and this is the total uh, same approach for every uh, top and bottom 
okay so i'm going to uh, just uh, give some a little brief about uh, demonstration about how it, uh, the impact on the level actually impacted uh, other resistance so here you see the price uh, the force is very strong and here you see the force is very strong again okay now i'll show you some weaker levels like uh let's say uh this was the bottom now which is the next top i'll see so <clears throat> This is the next top here and what you see here is actually the strength and uh, the way it fa falls actually here is like a deep angle like a very sharp angle you can see here the way it's falling like almost in that direction and what I suppose is that price should be falling like 45 angle but the angle actually tells you uh, if you throw a ball okay let's say this is a surface then if you throw a ball like this then where it can fall like it, we can calculate using calculus if we know the angle it was thrown at the sky okay if we don't know the angle we can detect it so in this way we know the how the ball was thrown at this uh, rest from this resistance if you know this angle what is the angle uh, the ball was thrown from here then we can actually detect uh, we can uh, detect the where it will fall it will be falling it will definitely will not fall like this but this actually justifies and then we have to add some more measurement like Fibonacci in combination with the mathematics uh, to find out the conclusion of the support. So uh, many factors actually matters. It's not the way only way that we measure this angle. No, it's not true. We can we, have, we can also measure this angle. Okay if we consider the ball is thrown at this speed then if we uh, draw a circle like here okay i can't draw the circle very perfectly here because of some limitation but i'm going to draw manually like if you throw it like this price actually does uh, the ball doesn't go in a straight way it has to follow so uh, this is just a demonstration but it actually doesn't happen like that if you throw it like this if you know this uh, only this angle okay if you just only know this then you can uh, you have found the angle on the by confirming the two tops the top one top two then you can actually expect the ball keeps falling ball keeps falling ball keeps falling okay but uh, you actually don't see it on the chart because it's not possible that price will fall straight to the uh, support zone okay if this is a support zone price will not fall in a way that you actually expect uh, it doesn't matter so price will come to there but it will not come in a way like you expecting uh, as per shown uh, it's shown in the mathematics but it's following up but it's not reacting like that exactly so this is my what i am trying to demonstrate that price is actually came to this level which was followed up by a calculation of this angle but price did not followed your uh, this sequence okay so price consolidated this this thing actually confuses the trader about if this thing is going to be working or not but in reality it may be working okay so uh, this was an uh, actually a concept about uh, using the calculus uh, how most of the people were curious okay few of uh, my followers asked me how can 
it be used so i just given you a little brief about it that was all in today's video uh, thanks for watching